Hello, welcome. Uh, time again for our daily reflection. This is the third day where we're thinking about um, moving forward in terms of what we're going to do some daily reflection on. Uh, as I said yesterday, uh, tomorrow we've got one more week where we'll start to, to take uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse by verse uh, as a sort of um, learning how to instead of the, the chapter by chapter stuff that we've typically done in the Psalms, uh, a slightly different style, but the same, basically the same techniques and methods and way of thinking and approaching and responding uh, to the word, uh, but taking it at a much slower pace. Um, uh, and the reason for that is as we come into uh, come out of lockdown, um, we'll find that uh, there are days where we just don't have as much time. Um, so rather than just sort of uh, skim past something, uh, there are still even with a short amount of time we can we can really extract a lot from the word so what we're doing today is, is looking at some of the tools that will uh, help um, and we'll begin with uh, sort of a paper version first uh, some commentaries uh, if you pick up a, a kind of commentary that's sort of big like that uh, that's not really going to help on a day-to-day -day basis so those are really helpful for me when I'm preparing sermons and whatnot but uh, in terms of daily devotional stuff uh, not that helpful. Smaller devotional commentaries are, are where you'll find most help. Uh, this is, and I've showed this a few times, this is uh, Derek Kidner's uh, uh, commentary on the Psalms. It's in two volumes. This is Psalm 73 to 150, so books uh, 3, 4 and 5 of the Psalms. Absolutely super. Um, uh, it's two or three pages per Psalm uh, and really very, very um, insightful. Uh, bringing to life uh, and sort of the technical things here and there, but more more often than not, simply warming your heart in, in the, the text of the psalm as it is, really smashing. Uh, strongly recommend that if you're going to go through the psalms. Uh, you, it's hard to beat J.C. Ryle uh, on Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Uh, Matthew and Mark are one volume each. Luke, I think, is two volumes, and John is three volumes, but they're all about that size. Uh uh, and again, daily readings and uh, very specific and helpful things that J.C. Ryle brings out. So again, in terms of daily devotional stuff, um, these devotional commentaries are really helpful. Not the big chunky stuff. Uh, that's not particularly helpful. Um, some uh, some time ago, we, we, uh, we got a pile of these. You, you might have a copy of something like this, the Explore book. Uh, so this particular one takes some 90 days in Genesis, Exodus, Psalms and Galatians. And of course there's no need uh, for those to be 90 consecutive days. You can use them how you want. Um, this is one of those kind of prescript, slightly prescriptive uh, books in terms of um, how we're to do things. So there's the misery of humanity there. Uh, Romans 3 verses 9 to 20 uh, with some words from... Um, uh, uh, writers from the time of the Reformation, absolutely super. So some helpful thoughts and then some way of application and prayer. So very much there's the work it out, work it in uh, and prayer time and then space for, for notes and prayers. These are really smashing books, really very, very helpful. Uh, and of course you can just write your notes in that. If there's one book that I found uh, more helpful than anything in terms of daily devotions, it's my own notebook. Um, and because there's no structure to that, it's it's your own. You you use it in the way that you want. Um, and as I say, it, and it changes over time. And the depth and the things that I write are, change over time. And it's just mine. I don't share it with anybody. And um, uh, it wouldn't make much sense to anybody else anyway. It's just the, the the bones of things that strike me. And in when you look at a verse and you write a few things down, it just helps to solidify your thinking and draw something out. And it's quite, I, I understand that now. And sometimes you might just say, well, what does this mean? <laughs> so it, it, we want to be open about it. But then, as I said a few times, to, to write a brief prayer of two or three sentences to respond in that way, again, just puts your thoughts into something concrete. Um, and if that feels a bit alien, then think of it as writing to God. Um, uh, and you choose your words carefully. There's something about it that means you choose your words carefully. Um, two more things to, to uh, suggest, a bit more uh, technical things if you're um, used to this on, on your phone. Uh, you can have, um, let me show you this, this is 
a selection of reading plans on the Bible app. So if you go onto the, the Uversion Bible app that lots of people have, uh, and you can you can subscribe to reading plans and you can have a Bible in a year reading plan. I think that's fab and really helpful because it sort of supplies you the chapters for today. Um, uh, it does that with all of them, of course. There are some very short reading plans. There are reading plans uh, on peace, as you can see there, on anxiety. Um, there are reading plans on racial tension, racial reconciliation. There is the, the number one there at the top uh, on the uh, as I'm doing this today. Uh, there are Advent ones, Easter ones, uh, relationship reading plans. There are re reading plans to boost your prayer life. Uh, all, all sorts of topics. Um, really worth um, uh, ploughing your way through that and just take a look and see what would be helpful. And if there's something that's on your mind, there could well be a reading, a Bible reading plan that will that will help and lead you through that. Lots of them actually have devotional thoughts within, so they have a reading plan, devotional thoughts that will help you do that, work it out uh, and work it in. Uh, so those those are really helpful. Uh, also, if you use the, the Prayer Mate app, if, um, not, not the most user-friendly app in the world, but there are some really helpful things. And certainly, obviously, you can subscribe to, uh, uh, to our prayer list and you can see how to do that on the website. Um, but you can also uh, subscribe to Daily Devotionals in the Prayer app. Um, so if I show you that list, there's a list of, of, of prayer mate um, devotionals. So there are Advent devotionals, biblical prayers and devotionals. Uh, also for camps and churches uh, and uh, and different things. So our um, our church obviously is there, um, though it, you'd need to go through our website to find it because um, we don't pay for it. That's just the way that works. Uh, but I, something I found extremely helpful is the uh, the Solid Joys Daily Devotional. Uh, there you go, that, that's the, the image for that. And if I sort of scroll up, you see the sort of length of the devotional there. It's about that long. Uh, they are really very, very good. Um, I'm finding that very helpful. Um, and often with really rich thoughts. They're kind of unstructured. They, they don't take a, a, a book and work its way through. They don't take a theme and work through. So it's in a sense, it's, it's hit and miss. Um, but it's more hit than miss, if I'm honest. So solid joys uh, from Desiring God is, is very helpful. Um, so I hope that what you can see from all of these things is really I'm trying to um, uh, get your own thoughts on what's going to work for you. This is about you and the Lord. So uh, the, I hope you find these videos really helpful. But it's really, um, it, it steps along the way. You know, the, these are things to help us develop our walk with, with him, to know him better, to understand his word better, to respond to his word better. When we pray in conversation, we, we want him to speak first and for us to respond to that. So all of these things will help, hopefully help us all in, in doing that. So, um, yeah, one more week to go uh, as we make our way through just the first uh, few verses of Ephesians chapter 1. Uh, and, th and the purpose, again, is we're doing these deliberately slowly for the days when we have little time. Um, but we want to, that the time that we do have with the Lord to be really strong and helpful and useful. Uh, so that's where we're going. Hopefully um, these uh, things will be of some spark some some ideas at least uh, in terms of the direction you want to go in let's pray let's pray our great god and heavenly father we thank you for the, the richness that we have in our country there's so many tools and things that are, are available with so many translations of of your word for us to to spend time in we thank you above all that in your grace you permit us to come into your presence, to spend time with you. And you know us, Lord. You know there are days where we will uh, have more time than others. Teach us wisdom. To slow down to spend time with you. To spend time in your word, listening to you, reflecting on who you are, on who we are. Reflecting on your great grace towards us in the Lord Jesus. May we know him better. We pray that our walk, our daily walk with you would be rich. 
We remember Nehemiah and how he spent months in, in rich prayer with you, pouring out his heart. And then in that moment, as his heart was inclined to you in prayer, as he spoke to the king and you heard him, we pray that we would have that kind of relationship, that kind of um, living experience of you, times of real devotion in prayer and a, and a walk with you that knows your nearness and your presence with us at all times. Teach us then, please lead us, grow us. May we become ever more Christ-like as we know him better. In his name. Amen.